All right, gamers, this one is for you. So Chuck III, he's the third and current King of England, he posted this really bizarre selfie to Twitter.gov. And it's not just any selfie, this is a hand-painted portrait. Yeah, they still make those. But it's a little suspicious, right? I mean, he's the King of England. When did he have time to paint this? I mean, to be fair, it does look pretty good, especially for someone who never went to art school, but it does fall outside of his normal kingly duties. And furthermore, why does it look like that? We haven't had a world leader depicted in such a colorful way since former President Barack Obama. And don't worry, brother, I'll cover your portrait eventually. There's no way that this is just a portrait. If King Charles himself painted this, we know there's got to be more to it. A hidden message. Something so important yet so confidential that he couldn't risk telling us directly. So now it's time, gamers. Put on your analysis hats and let's see what he was trying to tell us. And yes, we know he's targeting the gamers with this one. Take a look at this jacket. Apparently the uniform of the Welsh Guard. I don't know what that is exactly, but it sounds like some kind of hunting club. And what is hunting if not a type of game? And of course, this jacket is covered in these strange buttons, much in the same way a video game controller might be. We know the target audience. Now we just need to decode the message. First clue, all of this red paint. I know some people compare it to fire or blood, but I'm not in the business of superficial analysis. Look at how these many strokes are layered. It almost feels like the artist was unsatisfied with the background, so they kept experimenting with new shades, never quite settling on one flavor of red. Of course, Charles is not an amateur. This effect was completely intentional. Charles wants us to imagine this artist, who spent hours upon hours fixing something that was mostly already completed. This is the sort of artist who is working in perpetuity, never actually releasing their product due to their extreme perfectionism. Now these red textures on the uniform and in the background create an interesting effect. The untrained eye might assume that the uniform is meant to be part of the background, or perhaps that the background is consuming the foreground. But that's not quite it. No, this red suit is actually completely transparent. We're seeing right through the clear body of King Charles III, and that has some very interesting implications. We don't see any bones or intestines or organs. There's nothing in there. This king is completely empty. There's another layer to the symbolism here. From our perspective as the viewers, the painting starts off with an opaque suit that we later realize is actually transparent. This symbolizes the fact that this painting is meant to bring clarity to an otherwise opaque subject. Now, we've established that he is wearing clothes. He's not some kind of naked emperor. But we can't just ignore the material that these clothes are made of. The official adjective for see-through cloth is sheer. And according to sewingiscool.com, the number one sheer material is silk. It all fits together so perfectly. Charles is the king, the number one British person. So it only makes sense that he would get the number one fabric. That's just basic science. Also, despite the chaotic imagery of the painting, his face stands out as being serene, at ease, as if there's some sort of music playing in his heart. Okay, I just looked this up. Uh, the Welsh Guard is apparently a military thing. So I guess that would make him some kind of soldier, but well, he's British, so I guess it's more of a knight? Now, earlier I said something to keep you on your toes. Now, I didn't say it outright, but I kind of implied that the background was not fire and blood the way that everyone thinks it is. But actually, I do think that. It's so obvious to me. Look at those different shades of red. Look at the way the patterns spread. It's fire and blood, right? Like, there's nothing else it can be. This man is living in hell. That's part of the message, by the way. We'll, we'll get around to it. This brings us around to our final piece of evidence to examine. This little butterfly hovering just above his shoulder. This bug teeth is the key to unlocking the entire mystery. 
Butterflies are generally harmless, but we can't forget that old adage. Fly like a butterfly, stab like a bee. So what exactly is he stabbing with? The obvious answer is his sword, but we can't ignore these strange needles hanging from his jacket. And going back to bugs, what kind of insect is known for stabbing like a bee? Wasps, maybe? Let's bring it all together. King Charles is bringing something to light, something that involves creatives, artists who are so stuck in their perfectionism that they will never release their product to the public. The king is an empty soldier, wearing sheer fabric, with music in his heart, speaking to us from hell as gamers, trying to send a message about bugs and needles. In other words, Hollow Knight Silk Song is stuck in development hell. That's right. This game is never releasing. The stinging bug from earlier? That's not a wasp, that's a hornet. It's why he's wearing so many needles, and more incriminating, why he's dressed entirely in red. Take a look at the butterfly's placement. It's not on his shoulder, it's this close to touching down. It is moments away from landing. But this is a painting. It's meant to last forever, just like Silk Song's development will last forever. Always this close to releasing, but also never making any forward progress. Now I know this seems like bad news, and in most ways it is, but there is one piece of silver lining. The King of England is on our side. Maybe, just maybe, this level of political pressure from the King himself will pop Team Cherry's bubble and force them to finally release this game they've been tweaking for the past however many years. I know people say that a rushed game will eventually be good and a delayed game will eventually be released or whatever the saying is, but look at it like this. King Charles is a patient guy. This is the man who waited 80 years for his mom to die so he could finally ascend to kinghood. I mean, he didn't even try to kill her once. If this man, the most patient man in the entire United Kingdom, is feeling impatient at Silk Song's release date, maybe Team Cherry's taking just a little bit too long with this one. 